Hey Sugar Spun Bakers, Sam here, and I'm just popping in really quickly today because I want to show you how to use a kitchen scale. Switching to using a kitchen scale rather than measuring cups for your baking is one of the best things you can do for your baked goods. Measuring cups are simply not precise. This is especially true when it comes to baking with flour. It is so easy to accidentally overmeasure your flour. I've already done a video and a post on that. So let's go ahead and jump right in. First thing you want to do is get yourself a kitchen scale. There are so many out there, but this is my personal favorite. It's really inexpensive. It's about $12, I think, on Amazon. I'll link to it below or in the description. And I've been using this one for about five years now, and I've had no problem with it. Now, whenever you use a scale, you're going to need to tear it. Now to do this, first you want to turn it on. And then whatever you're going to be measuring your ingredient into, you'll place that on the scale. And then just hit the tear button. Make sure it reads zero before you continue. Now it's important that you're measuring using the proper unit. You should have a button on your scale that allows you to toggle through different units. Now my scale has the option to toggle between pounds, ounces, milliliters, and grams. For almost all of my recipes, I use gram measurements, but many others out there use ounces. Now let's actually use this scale. Once you've teared it and it reads zero, we can begin to add our ingredients according to the recipe. Let's say you need to add a cup of flour, which on my website has been standardized to be 125 grams. Let's go ahead and just scoop that directly into our mixing bowl. No measuring cups required. I often measure directly into my mixing bowl, but only if I can easily retrieve any extra ingredient that I've placed in. So as you can see, I just went over 125 grams, but I can easily remove that without picking up any other ingredients because the flour is the only thing in the bowl. Now let's say that I wanna add a half cup of sugar, which is 100 grams. And let's say I want to add it right into the same mixing bowl. That way I don't have to dirty any extra dishes. What we'll do is we'll tear the scale again, and you want to make sure that it reads the zero before proceeding. Now we'll add 100 grams of sugar. We'll just be a little bit more careful than we were with the flour because it would be a little bit harder to retrieve any extra sugar. I'm being extra careful with these little bits because I don't wanna mess up on camera. Now, if for any reason you want to measure into a separate bowl, you'll just swap out your mixing bowl, grab whatever it is that you plan on measuring into. Let's say for whatever reason, in this instance, you need four ounces of chocolate chips. We will tear our scale so that it reads zero. And I was using grams, so I'll toggle over to the ounces. And it's really as simple as that. So that is how I use a kitchen scale. I use it for all of my dry ingredients and it just makes it so much easier. I know that I'm measuring everything accurately and it saves on dishes. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick and easy tip and I really hope you get your own kitchen scale if you don't have one already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.